Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So we've got the 4020 hooked up to the Kuhn GA 4230T. And uh, we are going to be raking the hay that dad cut down today. So we went through, knocked down a bunch of hay that we wanted to make uh, since we have a what looks like a clear weather window. And uh, now it's time to go through and rake it all up because it's gonna be get as dry as it is just sitting there as it is now so today is a good time to come through break it up uh, allow some of the wind to go through it and evaporate any moisture that's left underneath so that's why we're coming through with the coon rake this rake would replace the new holland bar rake that we've got it's meant just to, just to do one windrow and uh, it'll fluff it up so you're going to end up with more windrows which is ideal for first crop so it's not like this rake would replace the uh, wheel rake that we've got the rhino because that one's meant for at least for us for later crops when it doesn't matter quite as much to get it fluffed up when uh, the crop is lighter the wind will have more of an ability to flow through it so you will be able to dry it faster so that's one of the reasons why we use a bar rake or we're using this rake for first crop especially or on thicker stuff just because we can fluff it up we can maintain twice as many windrows as we would with the rhino rake and um, it's going to take more time to go through and bale but it's going to allow us to get better material i think so let's get started when it was in the shed we did a quick adjustment on it so there's two different adjustments that you can do for height. One is on the back, which is right there. That adjusts how uh, low it goes. And then there's a front adjustment, which kind of acts as your pitch towards the ground. So you want to do that one first to get it close to the ground. And then you want to top it off by adjusting this one to where you need it to be so that it's contacting the ground at the right point to where you can uh, just get the hay because you don't want to run it into the ground and damage any of your signs. We've just got this little strip to do here. Travis is actually taking the New Holland rig to do the waterways uh, out back. And then we're going to head out to, or I'm going to head out to my place and rake up what dad cut down that first day. outside ones. Um, what I really like about this rake is that I can pick it up at the end of the windrow and as such instead of what we do with the bar rake uh, I tend to go a little bit slower. I can actually go faster with this. <laughs> so uh, I tend to run over the windrows so I need to do the outside ones last so then at the end I can go around the outside and fluff those ones up because in this small patch I did the outside first and I was running them over as I was doing short rows. So. We're gonna head out to my place now and start raking out there. It's way too warm today to have doors on the 4020.
I think this rotary rig's doing a pretty good job at flipping everything upside down. It's throwing all the wet stuff on top. This is exactly what we want to, well, not what we want to see, but what we want to see on top of the windrow. Gives it a chance to really dry out. It's fluffing it up nice and good. I like the windrows that it makes. We adjusted the cover here about halfway out, maybe a little bit more. Makes the windrows about that wide, which to me is pretty good. I really like the walking tandems on this rake because it rides across the ground like a hot knife through butter. Uh, whenever you're going especially fast, uh, those tandems take the weight from the rake and keep it from bouncing. So it really does ride nice and smooth. You don't get uh, digging into the ground unless it's uneven on the very ends of the strips, which is normal. I think it's doing a really good job. This is actually a little alarming to me because it hasn't been this dry in a few years, at least. I'd say the last time this dried up was 2012, so that makes me a little concerned about how the crops are gonna perform this year. I always said that on a year that's good for making hay is not good for crops, and typically years that are good for crops isn't necessarily good for making hay. And uh, So far, first crop on the hay is looking really good. So it's gonna be an interesting year. Got plenty of raccoon tracks out here. Looks like they're even trying to dig to find some water. I'm on the back side of this farm now. Uh, this is gonna be the last strip that I do for today. Dad has off tomorrow, so if everything looks good tomorrow, um, the plan is to start bailing. And uh, Dad and I can either, well, both of us can rake while Travis bales. Um, it's probably the better way to do it, and then the both of us can haul bales in. It's the next day. We are out here at my 11 acre field. We're about to get started. Dad left with the 4640 and the New Holland bar rake. Now I know the 46 looks ridiculous on the bar rake, but uh, there's no such thing as an overpowered tractor. There's only such thing as an underpowered tractor. So uh, like I've always said, 
overkill is underrated. Now uh, we're out here, we're gonna be working on this one. Dad went to a different field. Uh, that one's smaller than this one, so he's probably gonna finish there before I finish this one, and he's gonna go start working on the pasture. And uh, we're gonna work together to try to get everything raked up as fast as we can today. And uh, that's gonna be that, and we're gonna be ready to start bailing. So let's go ahead and finish raking and uh, call this video a wrap. Just finished raking we're gonna start hauling in bales so that's gonna be our next video i moved the stop over here to kind of keep the windrow tighter and i found that i actually like it where it's at rather than extend it out that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and uh dad and i are gonna start getting to work moving all these bales in. Anyway, I'll see you next time.